Hi everyone. Um, as you can see, this is um, some of the harvesting that I've started to do uh, from my garden. Um, I had hoped to feel well enough to do a video of things that I'm starting to um, uh, you dry and, and various stuff, but I've really felt so rough with this uh, flu virus that just I'm still I'm in second week of having it and still feeling really poorly. So today I just really thought I'd very, very quickly just show you some of the things that I've actually been doing slowly. Um, we have had a abundance of tomatoes and given that I literally threw these poor tomato plants in the ground um, and just left them to it basically, I'm amazed at how many tomatoes we've got and so I'll be making some sauces and freezing them um, but I do need to empty my freezer because I think I've got tomatoes from whenever previously got a couple of courgettes which they're quite diddy small and they should have been eaten straight away but you know we just haven't had that opportunity um i haven't haven't felt well enough to do anything i've been harvesting some sage to dry um and uh, put together with other bits i've got um rose petals i have got some um uh geranium flowers that I want to do something with and we've got some grapes and although these aren't de dessert grapes they're more wine grapes because I put them in years and years ago the birds normally get everything so this time I thought if I pick some a little bit sooner and maybe dry them I might get sultanas out of them now I could be completely off the wall with that but I'm going to give it a go so um there were a few uh um, cooking apples um, there's still some on, on the trees actually um, so I've picked just they were windfall ones there's this beautiful little orchard down by where we live and it is a circle of apple trees and they're beautiful they're, there is a magic there I felt it when I went in it's very old and so I was so pleased to be able to go down there and actually you know thank the goddess and the god for the, the beautiful abundance of um harvest this year and so those were windfall so i picked those up and i picked up some oak leaves i'll go back and get some more now the colors are changing um but i've been harvesting other bits and pieces i've got mint here and I can't remember what that is. And that's the other thing. I've got to be careful. I pick something to dry it. I know what it is. When it's dried, I don't know what it is. We have, I have a whole hedge of, of lavender. So, and I do, I have to be honest, I do leave it literally to the last minute so that the bees get the most of it. So I don't get perhaps the, the, the more richly colourful, um, uh, heads because I do leave them till they're completely dry so what I'll do with these is well I might, I've got a lot I have so many I mean this isn't even all of it there's another complete bunch of it um, a massive bunch of it over by the fireplace and what I'll do is I'll hang stuff I'll dry stuff I'll put stuff into bags I've got a bag of last year's I'm still um, harvesting um, and then the old stuff will go on the, the wood burner to fragrance the room. I've got rose petals, I've got raspberry leaves for making teas in here and to use in incense. I've got some St John's wort that I haven't put in oil, these are just dried naturally because I didn't, I wasn't able to pick them when they were the best. So I haven't put them, those ones in sunflowers, in sunflower oil. And this is all my, um, uh, margarine, um, oh, for goodness sake. Um, the calendula is the other one. It's the, um, not the marjoram, the marigold. What am I talking about? So I've taken all my marigold heads and I've been drying them and, 
putting them in here ready to use in incense um, and this is my just my sunflower oil that I decanted into a dark bottle to keep it um, and basically the job that I had intended to do um, was to completely strip my dresser and re uh, do it with all my jars but I'm, I'm still behind because I haven't felt well um, I've also got down here this beautiful book that was given to me by my mother-in-law um, with some really lovely felt animals in it so I've purchased some natural felt um, colours in to make these uh, dolls over winter so my autumnal um, crafting will include trying to make some of these. I have a few bags to make for friends. Once I've done those, I'm hoping to do those at the weekend. Once I've done those, I want to get back to making uh, collage pictures and my felting. And I want to knit myself a shawl um, because I seem to be able to knit and not crochet. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. I had hoped I could contain that cough till the end. So anyway, this is as far as I've got. Normally, I mean, I would do this every year anyway. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a new part of my practice because I've been doing this for years. I've been um, taking lavender every year and using it and um I've also used dried rose petals and obviously tomatoes and all the, the produce from the garden. But I would normally have had more, so I might have had, I would have had pickled gherkins, but I didn't have any this year. They just didn't take. My run of beans just didn't take. I don't know whether I sowed them at the right time. I was, you know, some days were really hot and then we'd get a, a blast of cold. And I, I just had so little success with certain things. So um, that's kind of... Uh, I think part of growing vegetables anyway but for me next year I'll be more organized and more contained in what I grow when I was on the allotment it was much easier to grow onions now it's less easy so I will probably just stick to um, the things that are, are more straightforward I ha have been harvesting potatoes and I hope to go out and video that at some point um, and I'm delighted we've had some really lovely new potatoes um, so that's that's it really I'm just in the processes of harvesting all these wonderful things for uh, drying preserving but I wouldn't as I say I would normally have more and I would have pickled gherkins had I had some and I have pickled a uh, run of beans in the past although not many people seem interested but I have made a beautiful beetroot um, sort of uh, um, slaw which um, pickled beetroot which I don't like pickled beetroot per se. I don't like the vinegary taste. But when you do it with the sweet sort of uh, vinegars um, chopped up with, you know, carrots and things, it's very different <laughs> and very nice. Anyway, I'm going to go before I cough again. So I hope you all have an amazing autumnal harvest. I hope your September is rich and full of beautiful bounty from the earth and that you get to enjoy whatever it is that you find in the hedgerows or in your own garden or just get the pleasure of the autumnal leaves. Um, and I wish you well. Take care. Bye bye.